Hi everybody, welcome to Waking Moments with Seth. I'm Mark Helen Frost. I'm your host. I'm going to let Seth in very quickly. Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to talk about today. It may be topical. It may be something from the books. We shall see. So give me a few seconds and I'll get him. Hmm. Now, it is topical, and it is from the books. Hmm. Let's see. This is our cliché for the day. Hmm. We enjoy using cliches and words of wisdom uh, in different ways. So we take a, a saying, an adage, and we turn it around, we play with it, <clears throat> we give it a different spin, uh, something that may spark an awakening for you, the viewer. And today's adage, everything you know is wrong. Uh, I've used this term often, and particularly lately as great numbers of you begin to question the world around you. You're seeing holes in the facade that you call your personal reality and indeed your collective reality, uh, the world you see. Holes. Everything you know is wrong. Now if you're coming to these little <coughs> events of ours. Uh, if you're reading the books, if you're uh, seeking out guidance, uh, you may be awakening. If you've just begun that process, however, everything you know is wrong. If you've been reading our books for some time now, if you've been on a spiritual path of some sort uh, that allows you a peek into the way things really are, uh, most everything you know is wrong. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going with this? Now, following this line of reasoning, uh, if you are awakened, you know everything. Let's unpack that. If everything you know is wrong, you are creating your reality. Uh, you are all reality creators. But if everything you know is wrong, you are creating your reality unconsciously. Mm. According to authorities, according to the storyline of mass media, uh, according to propaganda, let's say, from unscrupulous political leaders. Mm. So you are in a trance, uh, the common trance we call it, uh, in that you are, like many of those around you, unconsciously creating your reality uh, according to what you see on television. Mm. 
You are doing what you're told. This is the definition of being uh, in the common trance. You are uh, believing and taking orders from authorities of all types. You are not using your consciousness creatively, in other words. You are just regurgitating uh, material that you see on TV, hear on the radio, see on the internet, <clears throat> hear um, at work, within all of your collectives. Uh, you are picking up propaganda uh, and repeating it unconsciously. You are still sleeping in that regard. Hmm. You become a propagandist, you say. You regurgitate, <laughs> I enjoy that word, uh, the party line. Mm, your collective, the group of people that you're loyal to, that you call uh, the providers of truth. Now, if most everything you know is wrong, might I suggest that you are beginning to awaken. You are becoming conscious um, you are awakening and you are attempting to pierce that veil. Mm. You see these holes in your reality that don't make sense. Uh, on the television they're telling you that things are a certain way. But then you go out into the marketplace, as we say, and you discover, uh, wait one minute, uh, this doesn't make sense. Uh, considering what I saw on the television, or what uh, I learned from the leaders, all types of leaders. Uh, so you're questioning that, and you are filling in those blanks uh, with what you are receiving from within. Um, it is a subtle type of channeling in which you are engaged, in which you are asking for truth, and it's coming to you, and you're using that information that you get in the dream state, that you get in aha moments, mm, that you get through providers of truthful information, humans. <clears throat> uh, and uh, non-physical guides. And you are indeed uh, beginning to awaken. And the <clears throat> thrill, uh, the ecstasy that comes through these revelations motivates you to continue to do things differently, to not necessarily listen uh, to authorities, but to go your own path and consider that everything you know is wrong. Uh, it helps you to discover your own truth, uh, which may be the truth, as we say in the books, truth with a capital T, the truth of the ancient wisdom, uh, the record of all that is. Let us say that you are a 
awakened, theoretically. You consider yourself awakened. Uh, how do we describe the state of consciousness? Uh, you could say that you potentially know everything. You know the truth about everything. You are responding in a continual fashion to this ancient wisdom communication stream. The data bank of all that is. Mm. If you are this awakened person, Uh, you are experiencing the uncommon trance. You have most likely connected with the non-physical guides, with the ancestors, with the angels, with the fairies. You most likely remember your star origins. Yes, come from stars. Ladies and gentlemen, you are quite likely connected consciously to uh, the telepathic network, mm. that matrix that connects physical reality constructs, including you, the viewer, to everything. So I hope that you um, are considering this fact that perhaps everything you know is wrong. Uh, and I urge you to find where you are uh, at this point along this continuum uh, of waking up. Hmm, I'm going to suggest that you further research this adage uh, by going to our website, seth3turns.com, uh, and seeing some of the other uh, offerings that we have there. Thank you.